the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today is the first Sunday of Lent. And as we gather, bring along all our intentions, seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let's call to mind our sins first, and once again, ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have great listened in my yeah. thoughts and in my words, in yeah. what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most yeah. grievous fault, yeah. therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Offering to God the fruits of land, in thanksgiving, the Israelites profess publicly the saving acts God has done on their behalf. Lent is the time to recall the Lord Jesus suffering on your behalf. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, The priest shall receive the basket from you, and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us. We cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with his strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil, which you, O Lord, have given me. And having set them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guard you in all your ways. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Upon their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. 
You shall tread upon the asp and the rib and the viper. You shall trample down the lion and the dragon. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. I will deliver him and glorify him. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. The Apostle Paul exhorts us to place our faith and confidence in the Lord Jesus who suffered and died and was raised from the dead for our salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what does Scripture say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. For the scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, we have for me. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your us. spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. But the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him, It is written, one does not live on bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me, that I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil led him to the Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, to guard you with their hands, they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. But Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from Jesus for a time. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. On this first Sunday of Lent, the story of the Gospel talks about the temptation of Jesus. Lagi po ito, tuwing panahon ng Koresma, ang pinakaunang linggo, madalas po ang pinag-uusapan tungkol sa temptation. 
Well, when we talk about temptation, something that is really, really related to our life, hindi po nalalayo sa atin. Ito yung mga bahagi ng pagsubok sa buhay, temptation. Maging sino ka man, hindi nawawala ang temptation. Maging saan ka man, kahit sino ka man, mayaman ka man, mahirap ka man, sikat ka man, hindi. Saga naman o hindi. Hindi po nawawala ang temptation. That is why so timely that on this first Sunday of Lent, we are being reminded of this very, very delicate matter, which unfortunately, we always tend to take for granted. Pinapabayaan na lang natin, hinahayaan na lang natin. But mind you, in a single temptation, naku, baka madali tayong lahat dito. There are three temptations presented by the devil to Jesus. And take note, these three temptations are so much related in our, to our daily undertakings. Nako, akmang-akma po sa buhay natin. The first temptation is about turning the stone into bread. And this can be related to our temptation for our longing, to our longing for a more comfortable life. Yung kayang kaya mong gawin lahat in an instant. Naku, ang lipunan pa naman ngayon. Lahat ng pinapakita, instant. Yung hindi na kinakailangan, automatic na. So you can just imagine if we have that kind of power na kapag nagugutom ka, kapag hanap ka lang ng bato, then eventually, bang, tinapay agad. If we are going to relate this to our daily undertakings, ito yung, yeah, I know, sometimes we need it, but too much preoccupation for a more comfortable life, a more extravagant, yung tipong saganang sobra-sobra na, to the point na you end up to be so selfish. Alam ko po, sometimes it's part of our daily wish that we live, we aim for a more comfortable life. Pero sometimes, minsan kasi, yung, yung, yung motivation, intention is so selfish. Dito tayo nadadali. Dito tayo nadadali. Na kahit alam natin, sobra-sobra na, punong-puno na yung cabinet mo. Halos isang daan na yung sapatos mo. Yung mga damit mo, hindi na nga nagagamit. But it's too hard for you to let go and share to other people. Yun yung sinasabi kong, yes, we long for a more comfortable life. Bahagi po ng buhay natin yan. But with that kind of motivation, yung very selfish, yung sarili mo lang iniisip mo, abay, maging maingat po tayo. We can make our own reasons. Ang dami nating alibay. Ang ah, memorable kasi ito mga ito. Hindi ko kayang ilet go mga ito. Diyos ko, tambak, tam, tambak na. But again, again, as I have said, something to do with the intention. We have to be mindful of that kind of temptation. Temptation will always set, present other reasons. Alibay. Alibay. Temptation. The second one is about the power. The power. Kaya sinasabi niya dito, you have to worship me. Well, again, if we're gonna relate this, this is something to do with our longing for reputation. Lahat tayo. Well, again, this is part of our daily undertakings. As much as possible, we wanted to preserve our reputation. We wanted to have a good one. Kaya na, kailangan natin yun. Bahagi po ng buhay natin yan. But to the point that you always long for it, yung motivation mo, iyon na lang. Lahat na ginagawa mo, motivation mo, sisikat ka magiging pogi points sa'yo sa lahat ng ginagawa mo. Lahat na lang ng ginagawa mo, nakapos. Lahat na lang may tarpaulin. Again, something to do with selfish intentions. Well, again, hindi yung masama minsan yung ganun. Kaya na kailangan natin i-secure yung ating or safeguard yung ating reputation. But let us be mindful of the motivation. Baka too much. Baka so selfish at all. Nawawala yung sense, true sense of service to others. And the third one is something to do with being lax. Being lax with our consciences. 
Okay lang yan. Andiyan naman na yan. Eh. To the point that, okay, Lord, ito na. Ito gusto ko. Sana, ganito. In other words, something to do with commanding, the, 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 commanding God. Yung utusan mo ang Diyos, nako, maging maingat ulit tayo dyan. Lalo-lalo sa buhay panalangin natin. Paano ba ang buhay panalangin natin? Baka naman nagsisimba tayo upang parang tipong nag-uutos ka na ng Diyos. Lord, sana ganito, ganito Lord. Bakit ganito na lang? May listahan pa yan. Haba-haba ng listahan. Baka naman nakakalimutan natin yung other aspect of prayer life. Adoration. If you're aware with the acts, di ba, the best way to pray is following the concept of acts. A stands for adoration. C, contrition. Then T, thanksgiving. And S, for supplication. E baka naman lahat na lang ng dasal natin, ilista agad. We have to be mindful that instead of commanding God, we would rather obey the will of God. That's the point in our prayer life. And there are temptations. The devil will always be there to, to tempt us, to stop us, to distort us of our consciences, of our motivation and intention. And this is something that we need to be mindful of. Again, the temptations of Jesus in today's gospel are so relevant. Tamang-tama, akmang-akma sa panahon natin. Kaya it's a good reminder for all of us. Temptations are not to be taken for granted. We have to fight over them. Labanan po natin ang temptation. How are we going to do that? The only way is to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us always pray for it every day. Magdasal po tayo every day na sana biyayaan tayo ng Espiritu Santo. Because that's the only way to overcome temptations. Kaya nga naman, if you are going to look at the story, the story ended up with the success on the part of Jesus. He succeeded. Nanalo siya. Nilaban niya. Nalabanan niya. Why? As you, uh, why? Because as I recall, as we recall the first line, Jesus was so filled with the Holy Spirit. Nawa maging karapat dapat tayo sa Espiritu Santo. Nawa lagi nating ipanalangin sa Espiritu Santo na gabayan tayo sa ating salita, sa ating mga gawa, at higit sa lahat, sa lahat ng ating magiging desisyon. We have to be mindful. I know, looking back, looking at these temptations, sabi ko nga po, so related sa buhay natin. Sometimes we need bread. Every day, we need to secure our reputations at all times. And sometimes, we do have our needs every day. But, let us check on it. Ano ba ang motivation ko sa tinapay na ito? Is it only for me? O this is meant for others? Ano ba ang intention ng aking reputation? It is really for my selfish intention, selfish satisfaction, or something that will sustain, sustain my integrity as a person, as a better one. At how do we deal with our prayer life? How is our relationship with God? Do we really listen to His will or we are the one dictating? My dear friends, this season of Lent is all about this matters on being giving service to all, being generous and charitable, charitable to all, and most especially, listening to the will of God. We all stand and all together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken to the prophets, I believe, I believe in, in one, one holy, holy, Catholic, Catholic and, apostolic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the dead of the life of the world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, renew us in your covenant of mercy that leads us to everlasting life. With humble hearts we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May the church leaders find strength in the Christ in the desert whenever they are tempted to live a life against the gospel. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. May the civil leaders be empowered by your love, O Lord, so that they may use material, material and spiritual gifts for common good. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. As we go through this pandemic, May we courageously witness to Jesus Christ through faith-inspired works of peace, justice, love, and compassion. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. May those who are preparing for baptism and reception into the Catholic Church be guided by the spirit of wisdom and peace. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. May those who call upon your name in faith, O Father, during the earthly journey, hear the voice of Christ welcoming them into the joy of heaven. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. And once again in silence, we offer to God all our needs, our intentions, while seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We pray. Father, through the Spirit, you led Jesus into the desert to prepare him for his mission and mercy. Lead us by the same Spirit during this Lenten journey that we may be spiritually prepared to celebrate the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Give us the right disposition, so Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty God. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, He consecrated through His fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, He might pass over the last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with a company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he... Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martin de Porres, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. May their friends, as the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. 
Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Shepherd of souls, politics is your gift to us, call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, may which faith is nourished hope increase, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, you are cordially invited to come to the following services of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Confession, Monday to Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. at the Paschal Chapel. Praying, for the reparation, praying of the Reparation Rosary for Truth, Integrity, and Wisdom from Monday to Saturday at 5.40 a.m. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and Benediction Integrated with the Office of Readings and Evening Prayer every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. Station of the Cross every Friday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the rosaries. Manatili lamang po tayo sa ating pwesto. Huwag na po tayong gumalaw at lalapit po kami dyan mismo sa pagbabasbas. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, and all other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.